When we talk about Italian food, the iconic food, it's not pizza, it's pasta. And I'm with Marco De Celle, who is from the De Cecco Pasta Company, one of the most famous and highly regarded brands. And today's subject actually is, how has eating changed in Italy in the past five years? Well, certainly the Italians are becoming more concerned with diet and uh, they are also becoming to uh, experiment more with non-Italian food. Uh, so I, I would say that the, Italian, the traditional Italian meal composed of three courses, a pasta course, then a protein course, and then with vegetables and then fruit, is probably changing, especially in the big cities where working people need to have a lighter lunch. But having said that, certainly pasta is still in, in the very heart of the, of, of the Italians. The Italian pasta course has a, a different relationship between pasta and sauce than uh, like the American will, will like it. So when you think about a lot of pasta, you have to think that there is much less sauce in, it, in, in an Italian dish preparation. But having said that, certainly going for more pasta or sometimes going for less pasta but you want more, more taste because that's the only thing you are eating for that lunch, for, for example, as changing the recipes and making a bit them interesting in a sense. People are looking for more uh, spicy or more flavored uh, uh, recipes. Does the presence of people, immigrants to Italy, legal and non-legal, what impact are all these people having on Italian flavor, but also on food preparation in Italy? Well, you're touching a very important uh, issue. Uh, they, 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 there are quite significant changes. Think, for example, about in some schools nowadays there are more immigrant, ch childs of immigrants than Italian natives which of course is going to change what that school is going to offer for lunch because you know, they have to accommodate more the different, the different tastes. So certainly there is, Italy is seeing a, more, a variety of different products coming in. Are there significant regional differences now in terms of the way eating has changed, let's say from Milan to Bari or, or Naples? Yes, uh, certainly there are two things that are um, uh, in, in this area. First of all, the working habits, especially you go to, to, to the north, it's very difficult. People then, the, the cities are big and the working times are very, very, very hard. So people cannot go home to have lunch. And that of course changes a lot, the structure, especially of the lunch. Dinner might be different, but lunch is very, is, is, is changing. The second factor is also in more in the north, women are working which is a very positive trend, but of course women have less time for the food preparation at home. So this is a striking difference between the north and the south of Italy. Do we see an increase in food preparation by men at home? Oh yes, some. I mean, I, I, lived, I myself lived alone for many years, so I, I know how to survive, I know how to go by with some nice food. Mm -hmm.